Hello YouTube, especially Ozzy50. Your uh, video the other night on, uh, or your video tonight, I guess. Or tonight for me. <laughs> I'm not good at these videos. It was about your five foot fluorescent light with three bulbs. So I figured I'd just show you a bit of my uh, lighting setup. Just give the North American, Canadian setup, I guess. Um, this here is a dual bulb, four foot fluorescent. I think they're 45 watt either each or something like that. They're called T12 bulbs. Those are the bigger round ones. Something similar to what you had in your five foot fixture, but we don't have much five foot. I don't think I've ever seen a five foot in Canada. But uh, yeah, this is just one of my fixtures, and over here we got a eight foot two bulb, and another eight foot over the end. This camera is really bad. I mean, it's making things look bigger and smaller, but it is an eight year old camera. I hope you guys can see, but. Bring you in up here. This is where the uh, ends connect. It's just the same. It's called a T, uh, eight foot T12 bulb. Um, these are getting. I got these free. All three fixtures. That fixture. That fixture. And that fixture is with six bulbs. There's two in each. Um. Free. These were given to me. They're they're getting out of date. Nobody's really using them and new installs, I mean you still get the bulbs and ballast but as far as new installs are not used now usually they'll put two four foot fixtures with a uh, T8 bulb which I'm going to show in a minute but I'll just undo that if you can see, uh, you can't see anything but it's just a single pin connector on each end about a quarter inch round I guess and the uh, sockets on one end are spring loaded so you can go and pull and then come down with the bulb and they'll come out but all this is wired in with uh, wow this camera is doing real bad you can't even see the ceiling or BX wire nope well, maybe you can see it LCD on this camera is dying it's about 8 years old it's actually a Canon power shot uh, A80. Very good camera back in its day. Very expensive. I got it second hand, but it was it was not cheap back in its day. <laughs> not very great right now. I had five, six tries to get it come on. Oh, here's another. Sorry about that. Here's another four foot bulb. Uh, T, um, yeah, T12. Four footer. These are getting out of style too. They're putting the new style T8s, but all these fixtures down here were free. I just pulled the bulb out to show you guys what the uh, end looks like here. Here you can see. No, my camera's. There you go. I had to shut the camera off, put it back on for a second here, but. You see this is just a normal T12 bulb, like I was saying previously there, they're getting uh, more and more replaced. Sorry about the dirty mess on the floor, I've been doing some painting, so I have some cardboard junk down. But, uh, that's just a two pin connector on each end of the uh, T12 bulb. It just slides in, then turns into the uh, socket. Let's see if I can give you guys a bit of a demonstration it's probably gonna go all weird when I put the bulb back in but I am just touching the glass bulb but you can see the little socket on the end it just slides slide one end in then the other oops give me a sec <sighs> Nope, it's not cooperating. There we go. See, you just give it a twist, and it locks into place. See now, my focus on my camera is all the whack. But we can come over here. See our furnace. 
but I've got uh, the armored cable around all my lights. There, see the little feet on the end. Come across here. See, there's a little uh, spring-loaded socket I was telling you about. Back over my little uh, wall mount, Aussie 50 inspired wall mount Pinion 4 PC isn't doing too good. Uh, I think the motherboard went into it. And I subsequently stole the power supply I had mounted to the wall and the RAM for another computer, but that's a whole other video. Boy, I wish Dad would get back with a good camera. <laughs> and here is a T5, or uh, sorry, T8 fixture. Newer style, more efficient bulbs, smaller. You can put a T12 bulb, the normal bigger size, older style bulbs into it, it'll work, but this here is much more efficient. If I can uh, give me a sec here, maybe it's a little more better, you can see the bulbs. They're much smaller than the T12 bulbs, which are about the size of what Aussie 50 has in his video. Uh, and different style ends, I believe, but say so here, it just has the same thing, but just a single bulb fixture. This is the only fixture in the basement I actually paid for. It was uh, $12 on sale. All the rest were just scrap finds, I guess. Like I said, the, t the eight foot ones are getting going out of style. T too much of an energy hog. But this camera keeps stopping and starting. I mean, she's on her last legs. It's only a four megapixel. Well, as I was saying, while we're down here, maybe it might as well look at the fuse panel. It's just a North American style, older Edison type fuse box. Distribution panel, I guess. The main switch. Here, give me a sec. You can see. Yeah, maybe not. Anyway, that's the main switch. Behind here is two 100 amp fuses. Do not do this if you don't know what you're doing. Do not touch any of this if you guys can see, but never ever 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 open one of these unless you know what to touch and what not to touch and what you're doing. I did a hundred hour apprenticeship with electricians, so I um, know what I'm doing, I guess. I say do not touch these if you plan on living. That is 240 volts across both lines coming in and 120 to uh, between the white neutral and one of the black hots. Uh, I forgot to mention all these lights are 120 volts or 125 depends on where you are I guess but each one of these is here would be a pull out block style fuse, 240 amp fuses for your so let's say a 200 and 40 volt stove range cooker application I guess but all normal circuits are 110 volts in North America as many as you know and it pushes back in I mean all this if you can't see in the video is covered with metal and standard outlet if you can see it my old rotary phone more mess on the table, bandsaw in the background <laughs> Hopefully this video comes out pretty good. Bye for now.